Hi there, it's uh, Mark Ron here again at the Spear Plant Medicine Conference, UBC in Vancouver, and we're coming to you live. Uh, just We just finished with Chris Killam doing his psychedelic sermon. And Chris Killam's been a guest of our conference for a number of years. He's known as the Medicine Hunter. And if you want to check some of his stuff, work out, he's a fantastic guy to follow. But we're going to go through here and we're going to maybe talk to some people who've been attending and uh, see how the conference has been for them. Maybe talk to some vendors as well. Uh, here we have this young lady here. And your name, ma'am? Rihanna. Rihanna, awesome. So, Rihanna, how's the conference been? It's been amazing, Mark. This Excellent. Is so amazing. Really incredible. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, let me ask you this What's been your favorite part? Ah, uh, just the connection and the, the heartfelt sense that everyone is sharing, especially the speakers and the, 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 um, the, the revolution of consciousness that everyone is really committed to. Fantastic. Yeah. So was there anything specific in terms of uh, plant medicines that really kind of give you a little aha, like something to think about? Mm, yeah. Um, you know, I don't know. There's like so much, um, something well, to think about. So yeah. many speakers, so many great topics, right? Yeah, awesome. absolutely. Yeah, okay. absolutely. And wanting to make more more connections with the plants. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you yeah. so much for thank your time. You. Awesome. Thank you. Great. Well, we got a lot of people. There's a sold out crowd, about 450 max over the weekend. It was fantastic. And here's Chris Killam right here. He just del delivered his psychedelic sermon. So Chris Killam, the medicine hunter. We won't interrupt him while he's talking to some people, which is great. And that's the nice thing about our conference is the speakers are pretty cool, right? They hang out. They're just average people. They're, they're, um, they're, they're to a point where they're reachable. You can talk to them. They're really down to earth. It's fantastic. We have a lot of fun with them. And they're all really funny, too. Whoa, hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> you know, a lot of people go, and this is, hey, Theta Phoenix. Hey. So Theta, she's a sound healer. Great gal, beautiful woman, and she, her music is fantastic. Theta's opened every day mm -hmm. for how many years? Uh, probably, maybe this is my fifth. Her fifth year, so she oh, must great. be doing something right. People love her music, that's why we keep having her back. And uh, she brings us back after lunch, beautiful crystal bowls, and she does a lot of local events here in Vancouver as well, so take a look for Theta. Theta, how's the event been for you? Amazing, it's such an incredible opportunity to meet people that are so inspired about um, just healing and uh, and living really free, beautiful lives. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I really love bringing in this element of connecting with the self through the sound. Mm -hmm. So giving people an experiential moment to really drop into their own inner wisdom and insight and, and peace. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. and, and the cool thing about what we do here is you know, it's not just a conference that is kind of, some of them, you know, a little cold and sterile, maybe medical kind of feeling. Well, we really warm the place up. We treat it as a ceremony because when working with these medicines, there's a lot of ritual, a lot of ceremony throughout thousands and thousands of years from many different indigenous cultures uh, from around the globe. And this is what's kind of becoming the renaissance and what's coming back because people are healing from it. And sound mm -hmm. is such an important part of healing, mm -hmm. which is what you do. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Thank Theta. you. Awesome. Great. Keep mm -hmm. up the great Thanks work. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Let's go inside and take a look, guys. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Trevor Miller. How are you? Very hey, well. So Trevor Miller's been a friend of the conference. He's been a past speaker. You don't mind talking for a I guess not. Awesome. Sure, let's talk. <laughs> I just assume Should we do it in right? the doorway or push or, back a bit? Well, well, let's push back. All right. Good man. I love your sensory acuity. That's I used to fantastic. be a cruise director. So. Ah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, Trevor, maybe you can tell our audience kind of the work you do, because you've spoken here before, and you've been a, a patron of our uh, conference for a number of years. So maybe you can share with our viewers what, what it is you do and what's for sure. important about medicine. I, for sure. I work with a plant medicine called Ibogaine, okay. which is derived from the shrub iboga out of West Africa and it's been used ceremonially for centuries in that African context the Bwiti tradition uses it but in 1962 a heroin addict in New York City by the name of Howard Lotsoff his chemist buddy knew that he would try anything and he said here try this ibogaine stuff which he did and he went on this it's a very powerful psychedelic it generally puts you on about a 36 hour long trip without any sleep yeah so he was on his way to his psychologist couch spent a day or so on that couch but came out the other end and he's like wait a second I haven't wanted heroin the whole time I've been on this nor do I want it now so that's when its anti-addictive properties were discovered 
And thankfully, Howard was a real industrious kind of champion of this discovery and went knocking on every door he could find to get people to pay attention to what he thought was a, a cure to drug addiction. And, you know, things have grown from there. The Global Ibogaine Therapy Alliance was formed. He formed that and created some standards of care. And there's many, uh, maybe 200 Iboga providers around the world. It is illegal in the States. Yeah. It's on the prescription drug list here in Canada. Oh, no so great. there's... Uh, there's, there is some potential to work with it in Canada still, but it used to be a natural health product here in Canada, So, which meant for the last four years, I ran a business called Liberty Root out of White Rock, and we treated about 200 people through there, wow. mostly opiate addicts. And we see, you know, through kind of my unscientific polling of my yeah. particular patient group is we see about a 50% success rate treating hardcore heroin addiction. Oh, it good. could be more than, you know, it could be more like 65, 75%, but even if it's only 20%, typical drug addiction treatment, you know, AA or NA, meta studies of mm -hmm. th that modality only shows about a 10% success rate, if that. Wow. So, so yeah, it's a beautiful medicine. It helps a lot of people. Um, it's been great to, this happened in Vancouver because of this community, because yeah. of what these guys have done, what you guys have done with Thank this you. conference, yeah. you know, there well, is a huge getting the information out there, right? For so sure. Many people, you know, especially in Vancouver and anywhere in the world, everybody's family in some way, shape or form gets affected by, you know, drug use and, and that kind of addiction yeah and I think it's important that people look at different ways to to treating and look what works for you know sure. not everything works for everybody for sure and, you know it's great and ibogaine is an interesting uh, an interesting plant medicine and we do have a number of um, ibogaine um, vendors here sh uh, sharing yeah, their medicine so, as well. Uh, I know iboga journey yep. is here, We've Iboga got a, Soul is exactly, here. Yep. I work really closely with Iboga Soul. We're okay. actually working towards bringing our businesses together yep. and making a larger project awesome. with a lot of cool players involved, so you can great. stay tuned for that. Fantastic. Well, yeah. thanks for your time, Trevor. Awesome. And uh, there's a little bit of great information about Iboga, a little bit of more of what you can learn um, you know, from coming to the conference or just taking a look into it for yourself. It might be LibertyRoot.net is my website. Right, and then perfect. I'm also the chair of the board as of Maps Canada. So oh, perfect, if you have yeah. two million dollars we really want to do a phase one slash phase two safety study of ibogaine so two million bucks please call me we'll make sure you get lots of awesome credit for it awesome thanks, thanks mark awesome